recount one quick story because we have just a couple minutes. Uh, something happened the other day that just sort of exemplifies how wonderful this conference is. Uh, you might not be aware, but I'm a first generation Ukrainian. I might get emotional as I tell this story because I haven't really slept much and uh, it's just that Vegas air. So I might get emotional. I apologize ahead of time. But I'm a first generation Ukrainian. My parents were born there. They met here, got married here. They had my sister and I here. Uh, so we spoke Ukrainian at home. I was raised speaking Ukrainian. Went to Ukrainian school, went to Ukrainian camp, went to Ukrainian Boy Scouts, did the whole Ukrainian thing because we were trying to preserve the culture because we didn't know if the Soviet Union was going to last forever and there wouldn't be a Ukraine. So it was kind of our job, you know, as, as kids we were told, you're doing this for a reason. You're maintaining the culture and the language for a reason. So of course when the Soviet Union finally fell, surprisingly to us in 1990, my sister jokingly said, can we speak English now? <laughs> but uh, someone mentioned that the young photographer who was working here, Alex, I don't know if you got a chance to see him shooting, he was Ukrainian. Oh. And he's only been in this country for a year. Oh. So we, uh, I sort of, someone had told him that I'm Ukrainian, someone told me, and we saw each other, and we had a quick little conversation, and that standard thing happens where the Ukrainian person wants to speak English, and the <laughs> American person wants to speak Ukrainian. So I was speaking Ukrainian to him, and he was speaking English to me, and it was lovely. We just had some connection, and I realized he was, he was you know, just here for a year, and he and his wife had met, it was wonderful. There was another gentleman too, a Polish gentleman. Uh, I, I forget, I forget your name, I don't know if you're here. He came up and we, we bonded because uh, Poland has been so incredibly supportive yeah. of uh, all the Ukrainian immigrants coming over the border. And Ukraine and Poland has traditionally hated each other, because, you know, because they're identical, so of course they have to hate each other, because that's how it works, but, they're, but their potatoes are slightly different, their potato dishes are slightly different, so anyway, so that was lovely. Yesterday, after our final speaker, I was walking in the hallway, and there was a young woman sitting outside, and she very nicely said, congratulations on hosting, you did, you did a nice job, and I said, well, thank you so much, I really appreciate that, and I do, when people are very kind, and they say, you did a nice job, I really appreciate that, and I noticed she had a bit of an accent. And so I just sort of said, oh, have you, have you traveled far? Where are you from? And she said, Minnesota. And I thought, okay, that's not quite a Minnesota accent that I'm hearing, but all right, I'm not gonna push the, no, where are you really from? I'm not gonna do that. So we keep chatting, we keep chatting, we keep chatting. Turns out, she was born in the Soviet Union, in Ukraine, in Kiev. Mm. I start speaking Ukrainian, she kind of looks at me like, what? And then Alex walks over, just coincidentally, Aww. and the three of us Aww. had this like half hour Ukrainian conversation oh, awesome. in the middle of SciCon in Las Vegas, and that's the magic that happens at SciCon. Right. Wow. <laughs>